Did you just start running? If so, congratulations. I'm so excited to welcome you to the sport of running. It's incredibly rewarding. It's one of the best decisions that I ever made in my life was to try out for my high school's cross country team and stick with the sport of running for years and years and years. Here I am more than 20 years in. But if you have just started, there's probably a good chance that you are doing couch to 5K. And if that's the case, I wanna give you some tips to survive couch to 5K. Because I don't think it's a very thorough training program, but a lot of runners use it to get started. And so if that's you, then these are some tips to make it through couch to 5K successfully. And the first piece of advice I have is to remember that couch to 5K, the training plan, and any training plan is simply a roadmap to help get you where you wanna go. You do not have to actually hit every single prescribed run, mileage distance, or length of your run that you go on with Couch to 5K. If you need to run a little bit less, totally fine. Listen to your body, don't rush things, and really make sure that you're ready for whatever Couch to 5K is prescribing. Next, I want you to, to not just be a runner. In fact, I tell my athletes that they are athletes that specialize in running. And so if you're just getting started, if you don't have a big background in other sports, I want you to also do some strength training. Let's at least three or four times a week do some runner specific core and strength work. And I'll have some examples of some really good routines for beginner runners under this video. Uh, but what this does is really give you the armor to protect yourself against injuries. And while it's a very exciting time for you to start running, it's also a very risky time for you to start running. Your risk of injury is fairly high, and if you're not doing any strength training, then you're really not toughening the muscles, the connective tissues, the, your bones, all the tendons and ligaments that help you stay healthy. So instead of just running, I want you to also do some strength training. It's really gonna help protect you, and it's also gonna make your running feel a little bit easier. The last tip I have for folks just getting started with running who are doing some, uh, some, some training, they're finally getting some runs in, whatever pace expectations you might have, I want you to throw those out the window. Now is not the time to be worrying about your performance. Now is the time to be worrying about consistency and just getting in some running, developing a good habit of running and developing that routine. Get into a nice rhythm of running regularly and the pace, the performance, your speed, all those things that are sexy and that runners really want to focus on like cool workouts and fast 5k races and all that, that will come. But for now, let's just focus on you running easy for most of your running and whatever easy is, let that pace be what it is. You do not have to work yourself to a particular pace, instead listen to your body and whatever an easy effort works out to be, then that's probably a pace that's appropriate for you. Now, for those new runners who want a little bit of some extra guidance, we have a lot of resources on strength running that we've put together specifically for beginners. So if you are new to the sport, go to strengthrunning.com new, and you'll get our beginner-friendly advice, and I'm also gonna send you two bonus episodes of the podcast that I recorded specifically for beginners, going over all kinds of beginner Q&A and tips and advice for those just getting started. So that's strengthrunning.com slash new and you'll get all those goodies. So again, welcome to the sport of running. I'm so excited to welcome you here. And until you're a couple months into the sport, until you've developed that consistency, just remember, let's do our strength training. Let's remember that we don't have to abide by our training plan 100%. We can take some liberties with what's written down and we should always listen to our body and not hold ourselves to any pace expectations.